how are you my people my name is judith orero i hope you're doing well you're doing great i am fine i thank god for my returning subscribers be blessed may god have mercy upon you and may your cup overflow if it is your first time watching me welcome I hope you're going to enjoy yourself kindly subscribe like share and leave a comment let me know your thoughts i am doing this video specifically because of alfoga classic alfoga classic youtuber and i was watching alfoga rescuing following a case of a young child who was uh, who was uh, missing the police was claiming that uh, he took this child to school and the case was super long but at last this child was found and the police uh, lost his job as a result alfoga went missing for a long time but the wife came and said that Alfoga was arrested. Now they have twist the case, claiming that Alfoga is the one who adopt children. Abduction, abduction, not adapting, abduction. He's stealing people's children, which is not right. We need justice for Alfogas. We need justice for Alfoga Classic. There is no jobs in Kenya and people are qualified. There is too much corruption and it is not right. We cannot continue going like this. We need justice for Alfoga. Somebody who's just trying to do YouTube in order to make the ends meet and uh, supporting people who are going through hard time. Hmm? Inveling the disgusting behavior and now alfoga is arrested i am not happy about this situation and i believe if you are a youtuber you will understand where i'm coming from all youtubers in kenya you need to be one i believe i know very well that you have supported alfoga but kindly try hard because today is alfoga tomorrow is going to be you and i am seeing that most youtubers they are being penalized they are being abducted they are being uh, uh, tortured they go missing a lot of youtuber whatever they are earning is just because of lack of jobs in this country and it is not easy for one to start earning in youtube it is a very difficult task and when somebody put effort there is goons who are looking forward to destroy your life. I saw the video which was released today when Alfoga was being tortured. Now, I believe you're going to watch this video of mine and you will share it as much as possible. Me as a YouTuber as well, I am based in the UK and I know you people from Kenya, you are watching me. I can see when I watch my YouTube, I can see I have so many people from Kenya, the majority, because I speak lots of Swahili sometimes, you know. Kwa hivo tushikane pamoja, tushikane pamoja, let's cry out. I know there's so much going on in the country right now, as it is. There's a lot going on in the country, and the moment you try to raise your voice, then you're becoming like a target. But we cannot live in a... Oh, what is it called again? Hmm? In a rogue country. We cannot live in a rogue country. Hmm? We need to cry for each other. I know you have help. And I thank you so much. All of you who have keep contact with Alfoga wife financially and in any way. Thank you very much. But Alfoga need to come out because these people, they are doing their dirty job and they don't want the linen. 
to be turned around. Hmm? Kenya is not a police state. We need to wake up, brothers and sisters. We need to wake up and we can't be silent. They better kill all of us. And then they, it will only remain rogue people in this country. In that country, Kenya. We have to raise our voice. We need to speak out. Alfoga Classic was doing a wonderful job. That police was, is, was very abusive. Eric, Baba Eric was very, very abusive. And he beat Alfoga the first time when I watched that video. He was very, very abusive. Even if you're a police, you're not meant to torment people like that. You're not being trained in order to torment people like that. You need to represent yourself as a professional person. And get. if you want to arrest somebody, you can arrest someone. Why are you asking, asking Alfoga to delete his content? Because you know you have done dirty jobs. Then you are, you are sending goons. You are sending goons to arrest. To abduct. I don't know it's called abdu abduction. Hmm? Please Kenya. Wake up. Wake up. I'm sure some of you know the voices. And uh, maybe Alfoga. You know now where he is. Which prison or which police station. I don't know. Maybe he's already arrested in a wherever they have took him. But it is not fine. Kenya is not a police state. You cannot keep on tormenting our children like that. They don't have job and when they try to find their own means of finding earning some money, you want to destroy that as well. Corruption have to stop. Corruption has to stop in Kenya. And for this reason, you need to come out as many as possible. You need to come out for this nane nane, toke ninje, manake tabia kama hizi ndo zinaendelea. One person, one person, ata kama ni President Ruto, ata kama ni Raila Molo, ata kama you, are, you Gen C, you are going to have another president. You cannot fight the goons alone. Because some of the professional people, they are goons themselves. They are corrupt. The corruption is have have the corruption is inside their veins. And these people they need to be arrested and they need to be audited, and all the wealth they have need to be sold. Need to be sold. If they have houses, these houses need to be sold or need to be demolished. We cannot have people walking here with the blood money. We cannot, people, we cannot have people going scot-free. We cannot have people destroying our children's life. We cannot have people who are looking forward to make everybody miserable. And we cannot have people who keep on silencing us so, so we don't speak out. We have to speak out. Start checking your neighbor. Start checking in your household. How is your brother? How is your sister? How are they behaving? Don't entertain their behavior. Do not entertain their behavior. If they are behaving in a way which is not right, tell them off or cut them out of your life. This is the only way we can progress. This is the only way Kenya can go ahead. Otherwise, people will be running out of Kenya. They will be going in different country. Why should we run away out of our own country? We should not run away out of our country. That is our motherland. And we need to live there. We need to live there. We need to enjoy. We need to have our children there. We should be buried there. Now few individual who are goons. Few individual who are dunderheads. Few individual who are very stupid. Few individual who are thieves. They want to destroy the entire Kenya. We will not allow that. We need to join our hands together. We should join our hands together and raise the alarm. 
if you see one of your neighbor behaving in a way which is not right, you need to report them and action need to be taken. Kenya belongs to all of us and we need to get rid. Get rid of those people who are looking forward to destroy our life, to destroy our resources, to destroy our children, to destroy our thoughts. It is a country which have democracy, freedom of speech, and that should not be taken away from us. Look for your neighbor, your shoulder. Check out. If somebody is behaving in a way which is not adding up, assess them properly and report. Don't stay with the evil people. They will make you to be evil too. Justice for Alfoga. Justice for Alfoga's classic. Justice for Alfoga's classic. Justice for Alfoga classic. We need justice. I believe my message is delivered. Thank you very much. And my name is Judith Torero. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you.